Hi, this is Scott Shepard, photo media instructor at Lake Area Tech a Technical Institute, Watertown, South Dakota, and this is a brief tutorial that shows you how to do one method on how to do selective coloring in Photoshop, and this particular method uses layering. I want to start with a picture um, that has a bright visual element that I'm going to selectively color, and uh, the first step is to copy the photo. So I'm just going to go Command A. The idea here is we're making an exact, an exact duplicate of the photo. Command A. There is a menu um, choice up here that lets you copy as well. You go Edit Copy. And th then I'm going to deselect, and this is an important step uh, later. And now I'm going to go up and go to File, New. What I'm going to do is create a new canvas. And the um, copy is in the clipboard, so the canvas is exactly the size of the copy that's in the clipboard, 640 by 480, 72 dBi for this particular photo. Click OK. Command V or Paste. You can check the menu and find the menu command for that as well. And now I have a copy of this photo. Now. One thing that's important is to note that it has two layers. There's the background layer, and then there's the layer one. And so I'm going to merge the layers here by flattening the image. OK. Now I've got, and I'm just going to drag this off to the side so you can see, I've got two copies of the same photo. The next step is to turn the newly created copy into a black and white image. Image adjustments. Black and white is the tool that I'm going to use to turn it into black and white. And uh, I'll just use that. You can do a lot of tweaking with the black and white tool, but we'll just leave the default. Okay, now I have a black and white image and I have a color image. The next step is to select the move tool up here, go to the black and white image, and drag it over to the top. And it doesn't have to be a perfect match because we'll align it just like this. It'll snap to the edges. There you go. And so now I have the black and white image that covers the color image. If I go down to the layer tool and turn off the layer one, you can see the color image right underneath it. And so then the last step here is to go to the eraser tool, which is right over here. Um, I'm going to pick um, for the for starters, I'm going to pick a hard-edged eraser tool that's fairly small because I'm going to work on the edges on this. And that's, oops, I want it hard, but I want the size small. All right, and this is uh, where a trackpad is kind of a difficult tool, but the secret here, as you can see, is just simply to work your way along the edge of this and selectively erase the color that's in it. And I'm not going to do the whole thing because this takes a lot of time. It's easy when there's black underneath it because uh, there's no color in that black. So that's the idea. And then in the final process, once you've got the whole thing, um, the black and white layer erased, showing the yellow layer underneath. And that's exactly what you're doing. You would flatten this, and then you would have your final copy. Anyway, hope this helps.